Mr. Phillips, this is Lyndon Johnson. Uh, Senator Long uh, is here in the office, and we have reviewed uh, uh, the uh, problems that uh, uh, result from this ter terrible uh, disaster that we've suffered there. And uh, we have gone from agency to agency, uh, beginning with the Corps of Engineers, the Veterans Administration, the Food and Drug Administration, the Agriculture Department, Small Business Administration, uh, all the services, Army, Navy, and Air Force, uh, the National Command Center, the Department of Agriculture, Interior, Maritime, Housing and Home Finance, and Bureau of Yards and Docks of Navy, Federal Communications, Federal Aviation, Bureau of Public Roads, Treasury, Commerce, and Interstate Commerce Commission. Now, in times of distress, uh, it's necessary that uh, all the members of the family get together and lay aside uh, any uh, uh, individual problems they have or any personal grievances and uh, try to take care of the sick mother. And uh, uh, we've got a sick mother on our hands. And so I said the other night when I was there, we've got to cut out all the red tape. Uh, we've got to work around the clock. We've got to ignore hours. Uh, we've got to bear in mind that we exist for only one purpose, and that's to uh, the greatest good for the greatest number. And uh, the, the uh, uh, people who've lost their homes, the people who've lost their uh, furniture, the people who've lost some of their uh, crops and their, even their families, uh, not going to be very interested in any individual differences between the federal or state or local agencies. So I hope that all the government people can put their shoulder to the wheel without regard to hours, without regard to red tape, uh, bring to these people uh, the a kind of assistance they need in this emergency which is worthy of a great government and a great country. And I want to thank all the local officials and the city and county and state and parish officials. And I want to assure you that up here, if you have any problems, let me know about them. We'll get them straightened out. And down there, I don't want any problems to uh, that, uh, the, 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 uh, that the uh, uh, Betsy didn't uh, create to exist. I don't know those orders. Well, uh, uh, Here's Senator Long wants to say a word to you, and we'll do the job here, and we expect you all to do it there. Good. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Phillips. You're doing a great job down there. You, and uh, I know you've got your problems. We don't want, we're not trying to make you violate the law, but uh, insofar as you can find a way uh, to make the law bend to the problem, well, that's what we want you to do. I think I understand. And uh, as I say, there's one more thing about it. Uh, we've got some things in these laws I indicated that have to do with private enterprise where we try to protect them, but it's time for private enterprise to make their move to help the people too uh, because they've got their place to fulfill and they shouldn't play the part of a dog in the manger. So now's the time when they ought to be doing uh, the extra hour of duty, and I think they're doing it. Uh, I'm very proud of all these people who kept the stores open on Sunday and other times uh, after hours and uh, folks who provide the service below the cost of service, or sometimes giving away services for free to help their fellow man. It's a fine thing that they're doing, and uh, insofar as some few people want to chisel and cheat and take advantage of the unfortunate conditions of their neighbor, I think we'll all remember who those people were when the time comes later on when they need us. We're going to work with everybody kind of along the lines of the president. Thanks so much. God bless you.